guys, what's going on? Tribulant Limbo here to talk to you guys and strategize into Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb DLC. And this is the ninth installment in this series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. And hope you guys did enjoy that uh, new intro I whooped up, or whipped up, not whooped up, <laughs> whipped up together for the series. Um, I may change that around a bit, but whatever. Uh, let's start uh, with this run. We are approaching the uh, 10 run uh, milestone. Um, I think I promised a uh, Magdaline run, I think, so we're going to do that. Anyways, I don't think we've played Magdaline yet, so that should be interesting. Yum Heart lets me go into the curse room. Pretty much guilt free. Relatively. Ooh, Guppy's Head. Nice pickup. Uh, well, I do kind of like Guppy's Head. I do want to stick with the Yum Heart since we really haven't had much experience with it. Not saying it's any better, even though I think they're about equivalent in uh, usefulness. Obviously, Guppy's Head becoming a. Uh, more important as our damage goes up and yum heart becoming a little less important as the run goes on obviously there are some exceptions for that rule but that's what it is for now i'm going for the chest and secret room combo hopefully there is a secret room and there was very good use of a bomb and we get it back in a key okay this is interesting this is okay we haven't picked it up so we're definitely going to pick it up just so we get it in our stats now do i want to keep this no, I'll tell you why. A uh, reason is that's kind of a uh, speedrunner's item if you're just trying to finish the uh, game as quickly as possible. Trying to set a record or something, it's awesome, but for actual, um, I don't want to say legitimate play because it's all legitimate play, but um, for actual, uh, ooh, let me pick that up first. Um, for actual, like, normal play, I wouldn't say that's great. Uh, just because you miss out on a lot of stuff. Like, let's say we use that, we wouldn't have gotten this uh, Polythemus, so that's awesome. So far, a really awesome floor and a variety of kind of like strange items. We are a third of the way to being Guppy. Hopefully that's a thing, because in a conjunction with Polythemus, that would be one of my uh, favorite type of runs. Kind of overpowered, but also entertaining in a way, because it because you get to see the flies do crazy damage. Not just you doing crazy damage. I love it when Pin damages himself as well. Always a good time. Okay, let's finish this dude off. Also a little uh, rebirth footage uh, posted. Um, if you guys aren't following that, uh, Edmund McMillan uh, did make a website where he... Uh, it's kind of like a blog for the Binding of Isaac. Meat is awesome. So he posts a bunch of like Binding of Isaac rebirth uh, stuff he's working on. And the pin fight is now going to be uh, two pins. At least that's the champion version, maybe? That should be interesting, because... That would be... <laughs> Honestly, that'd be a bit scary for a pin fight, but I thought that'd be an in interesting thing to uh, interesting thing to put in. So yeah, uh, meat also serving as a damage upgrade apparently, because we did get to red tiers. I didn't know meat did that. I mean, it had to be meat, right? We didn't pick up any other damage related item. I don't think so. So apparently, meat is a damage upgrade. Maybe, I don't know how substantial it is, but that's uh, really awesome. We're one-shotting a lot of stuff. We're almost one-shotting the poop, which is... I, w I wouldn't say uh, convenient, but kind of like... It it's fun to do. It's kind of like dis destroying everything your path, path, especially the poop, which is the ultimate uh, obstacle. And I'm sorry if I'm stuttering a bit more than usual today. Um... I don't have a reason why I was going to be like, well, it's because of this. Well, it's not. Uh, lemon Mishap, horrible, but we'll pick it up and put it down so it's not in our pool later on. I guess there are one or two viable uses of um of Lemon Mishap. Maybe on the Gertie fight it's alright. Maybe. I mean, it's it's not alright, but it's uh, at least usable. I'm obviously kind of spilling a little um pool of damage that can... Uh, hurt them if they're in a stationary hitbox. I mean, they can definitely run over it. I mean, that's a thing, but it's uh, more useful for uh, stationary enemies. It's kind of like the joke of the game. Not, It's not supposed to be a good item. And also, fun fact, uh, that item won't be changed too much in Rebirth and may be getting a tiny, a very, very tiny bit of a buff, but still, uh, it's going to be bad enough, so it can still be the joke of the game because it, it has to be the joke of the game. Like, what else could it be? Uh, Kamikaze is actually not that bad, if you know how to use it, like running twalls and stuff. Uh, what's a, what's a bad item? Like, all the bad items are actually good in some circumstances, so I can't just say, oh, that's a bad item. Like, I was thinking, remote detonator, but it gives you five bombs for free, and if you have Mr. Megas, it's not actually all bad. Before we go to the boss room, I do want to check if we have a secret room here. And 
we don't. But I'm just I'm just gonna assume that the uh, secret room is in the second position. If not, not exactly sure where I'd go to next, but it should be here, and it is. We'll use one penny here. Why not? Think for yourself. Okay, sure. Why not? And we get pinky eye out of it, which is, uh, it's alright. 10% chance of a poison shot. And poison's actually awesome, especially with the uh, damage we're doing now. I'm pretty sure poison uh, corresponds to the damage of your tears. It could be just a universal amount of damage, but I think it corresponds with their tears. And if so, let's see. Yeah, that's doing a lot of damage. I think that corresponds with uh, polythemus and meat, apparently. That's awesome, though. And I, I was thinking, what should we do for our 10th episode? Because it's kind of pretty... It's a pretty big milestone, I guess. Like, 10 days, that's a week. And 3 days, that's, on average, 30 minutes an episode. That's 5 hours. That's a good afternoon right there. And we're getting a lot of poison shots for uh, only 10%. Let's see if we can get more. I, I won't stop till we get at least one poison. Come on. 5 more. 5, 4, 3, 2... Really? Didn't give me a poison? That's fine. Pageant Boy uh, gives us a nickel. Um, my philosophy is if Pageant Boy gives you at least one coin that's uh, rare, like a nickel, dime, quarter, then I think it's worth it. Uh, Devil Room gives us... Um, I would love to take Guppy's Paw, but we can't. And Sister Maggie is something we can afford, but I don't want to take. Um, yeah, let's go down to the next floor. So far, uh, going great. I will uh, bring back the water. Last episode, I experimented uh, doing a whole episode without water. <laughs> Can't say it turned out great. Um, I think the audio quality was fine, but uh, my throat was not, which is... I can't say that explains my stuttering today, but explains why it hurts to talk. Okay, this spider's like the best dodger ever. He's uh, doing some crazy stuff. Okay. Still doing crazy damage. We got hit by that fly, but that's okay. Uh, Mom's pad... I'm gonna keep Yum Heart. Actually, we should probably uh, pick it up and put it down. It's a good strategy. Especially once you uh, get to the chest. Uh, once that becomes a possibility, because you don't want any of that stuff spawning there. Okay, Curse Room. Miter. Of course. Of course. Lots of uh, health related items Yum Heart, Miter, uh, Meat. Although that's an HP upgrade. I think that's about it. Don't think we had any other health upgrades. Because Magdalene does spawn with an extra health. How do we want to handle this? We can do something tricky. Let's try that. I think... I think this is possible. Think. Maybe not. Okay, we'll go We'll go for the poop. Do the por boring strategy. And oh my god. My uh, stuttering is pretty strong today. Stronger than usual. Hopefully that uh, will go away. I need, I need to start doing like speech therapy, therapy or something. Isn't it convenient... That, like, this guy doing, like, let's plays for, like, I don't know, 30 plus minutes is just happens to have a stutter. Yeah, pretty, pretty convenient. Okay. Ooh, Ultra Pride. Want to be careful here. Kind of a scary boss fight, or a uh, mini boss fight. I'm going to just call it a boss fight, because it is pretty strong. And it looks like we're doing a lot of damage, but do remember, Polythemus meat. Normally, we wouldn't be doing this much damage. So it's still a pretty hard boss to fight. We are taking uh, quite a bit of damage, but that's okay. Uh, we will definitely lift through here. I think we should, though. <laughs> if we don't, that'd be concerning. Oh, those homing shots. They're real. I do want to get rid of this, because uh, this is getting annoying. Oh, we can uh, circle the homing shots. That's pretty awesome. And, oh, so close. Come on. Cameron, we almost have you, right? We have to. There we go. Um, I'm not going to pick up left hand, although uh, curse rooms have been good for us so far. We got Guppy's head. Uh, we got the miter. I think that's about it for uh, curse rooms. But I, I, I don't want more uh, red chests. I, I'm just not a fan. Unless we have Guppy's tail, uh, then I'll consider it. I think it's all right at that, at that point. Nub is easy. And let's head into our boss fight, which is uh, Peep. Not too bad. Usually peep actually depends on the uh, room formation. One of the weird, uh, one of the only bosses that actually uh, depend on the room. Like, Fistula kind of depends on the room. You could get a really uh, 
crummy room layout. Uh, what's what's another? I I don't know. I'm I'm trying to think of uh, enemies or bosses that actually depend on the room. There's a few, like Gemini could be one. Uh, Steve is also one. Turns out a uh, Steve's head. I didn't I didn't know this is a uh, special item. Who knew? I did I didn't think uh, boss items could be uh, special items, but apparently. I have a uh, sorely mistaken and we are taking too much damage right now I mean I think we'll live if not this will be uh, really sad like really sad oh no this has been a horrible peep fight not sure if we took any damage from peep but only from the eyes which I guess are an extension of peep but still this is ridiculous I would like to get um, tears upgrade because Polyphemus does uh, really mess up my shots. In a good way and a bad way. Come on. There we almost go. There we go. Okay, so that was probably one of the wor No, that was the worst peep fight. Can't think of a worse one. Uh, Cat and Nine Tails. Reason I took that, one, because I don't mind it too much. And two, because there was actually a spirit heart behind it. Uh, we know the, the secret room isn't there because of the curse room. So I'm gonna, there's still three locations. I'm gonna guess over here, could be one. Okay, then here gives us access to the shop as well. Awesome. Six cents uh, makes the shop viable. So I hear a bomb. I'm gonna have to go for a bomb at this uh, stage. Come on, compass, ladder. That's interesting. We're actually gonna take it. As weird as that may seem, obviously we don't have the ability to fly in. Uh, ladder actually ends up paying for itself rather quickly if you do have like a um, a penny room, for example, where there's like loads of pennies uh, in the center of the room and there's pits around it, like this one. One cent, uh, 14 cents to go until uh, it pays for itself. So, okay, that, that floor was all right, but the peep fight kind of dragged me down, so not too glad about that. Really glad about that water though, really, really saving me. Greed heads, shouldn't be too bad with Polyphemus, they're not. But I still hate greed heads, they're probably one of the hardest enemies for me. For me, maybe not for you. I have trouble with uh, greed heads, S uh, not sloths, uh, Mask of Infamies, although that's universal. That can't just be me. Mask of Infamies are impossible. There's no way that's just me though. Okay, gotta be careful here. Sloths shouldn't be too hard to take out here. Second secret room is always nice. Eternal heart would be awesome. Mom's pearl will take. Because cause I just live like that. Um, item room's gotta be. Well, it doesn't have to be. But I would like it to be good. So another two cents uh, puts us at 12 more cents till the ladder pays for itself. So far doing a good job can't say it's worth it even if it does pay pay for itself because I mean if if in a parallel universe if we were playing Isaac and we had the uh, d6 even if you still can't fly you do want to reroll that so I can't say that a uh, choice was actually great but with Magdaline it's an all right choice to make I guess you can make the argument for that key I'm gonna count that as five cents yeah, it's, it really is paying for itself rather quickly. Should be careful in this room. Can easily go south. Don't think it's going to. It's, we're we're going to stay up north here. Is it weird that uh, saying going south is a negative expression? What do you think that, that indicates? Uh, stars puts us in item room, so we'll do that. Really? Telepathy for dummies? This is the one... Uh, Probably one of the worst items, if not the worst item in the Binding of Isaac, but I just want to use it on this room just to see how the uh, shots look. Uh, I guess we can't see it. That kind of sucks. But I, d I do enjoy uh, homing Polyphemus shots, so... That's uh, something you probably didn't know about me. Uh, this room is gonna suck. I knew it. Uh, we gotta start using the ladder, because we can. This is actually a pretty good room for the ladder. A really good room for the ladder, in fact. These guys, so annoying. Chest gives us a bomb and a key. Is okay. In fact, it's above mediocre. Okay, if I was a secret room, where would I be? I'd probably be 
right here, possibly having a green in it. Hopefully not, though. Okay, well, it wasn't in there, so my theory was just uh, wrong. It's okay, though. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. So it can be either a counterfeit penny or uh, a bunch of money. Actually, no, it can't be counterfeit penny because we didn't unlock that yet, I believe. Actually, maybe we did. I'm not sure what the uh, challenge is to unlock it, so let's uh, see what we get. So many shots. Come on. Okay, it gives us like eight cents or something. Really awesome to actually uh, find. It's pretty much the equivalent of like a golden key or an eternal heart or... I don't know if there's a bomb equivalent. Oh god. Those spiders uh, did a number on me. For the amount of damage we're doing, we're not playing too well. Maybe it's because Magdalene, she has slower speed, but I'm not a fan. That troll bomb got uh, awfully close. Let's go down here. And we do have relatively easy rooms. I mean, Catacombs, I think is the better version. I'm not sure. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Don't know why I popped that. I did it anyways. That was kind of... I meant to uh, press spacebar. I wanted to uh, have a yum heart. There's probably better uses of uh, Wheel of Fortune. We'll go down to 10. Ooh, Spirit Heart kind of pays for the tarot card itself. In my opinion, at least. And now we blow it up. Hopefully it pays for itself a bit more. With another Spirit Heart, it did exactly that. <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a funny Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, Greed Heads. Why are you so greedy? Coming at your neck. Oh, that was a bad use of the ladder. Kind of dodged right into that. And that one too. I think we might... We have the possibility, at least, of losing this run due to bad play. I don't know what it is with me today. Stuttering. Mediocre. Not even mediocre, just awful play. It's just not... It's not my uh, Binding of Isaac day. And yes, I do have a uh, good Binding of Isaac's, Isaac days. And that's not just with luck, that's just with uh, skill as well. Okay, Fallen's actually pretty lucky because we can get a deal with the devil item, which uh, could be good, could be bad. Uh, there's some stuff I don't necessarily need, like luck foot. Wouldn't need that. And we were just uh, fast enough to avoid this guy. Don't know how we didn't get hit by that brimstone. That was very lucky. We probably should have used a bomb there, but we can use it now. That did a lot of damage. Totally worth it. Obviously, the fawn does get a bit harder once he does split, so gotta be a bit careful here. So far, it's actually going alright. Not having too much issues. Or not too many issues. Okay, that, there's one, and... One or two more shots should uh, finish this dude off. I'm going to say two more shots. One, two, three. Okay, that was all right. And we actually got, funny enough, a uh, deal with the angel. So let's uh, pick up Horror Babylon, which should be better um, once we get down to one heart. And the dove, which is, I think, the equivalent to um, Spirit of the Night. And little fun fact for you guys, there's actually a rock behind this. So if we put a bomb there. It did blow up that rock. There is a chance it could be a tinted rock, so that's a thing. Okay, so I guess now we have spectral tears. Okay, that's uh, that's awesome. Down to the next floor, I guess. That was a really good floor. Uh, Dove is awesome. I forget what we... Oh, we got Horror Babylon is okay, especially if we get like Guppy's Paw or something. I will take a bit of water. Okay, Depths 1... Definitely better than Acropolis. Uh, these guys are kind of the equivalent to um, to Mask of Infamies. They're just so glitchy. They're so buggy. I call them like neck dudes. They're horrible. Like wh wh when you uh, blow off their body and they just become like turret heads, they just like fly off their uh, body. And they hate you, so that's uh, pretty horrible. And I do need to remind myself that I can fly so that's a awesome advantage making the ladder officially useless this pill is telepills which teleports us to I mean I guess this room's fine I don't see anything wrong with it it just goes along a different path which is all right I'm I'm down to explore but down to clown definitely weird definitely one of the weirder expressions 
Okay, take out this last hopper if we can. Uh, this hopper is hopping everywhere. Hopping all over the room. Come on. There we go. Penny. Wouldn't say that was worth the uh, struggle. Creep uh, shouldn't be too bad. Especially since we can fly. Of course, we took damage uh, just from, like, touching it. Contact damage. Not fun to take. Okay, we actually have a library. And that raises the question, is there a book we would prefer over the Yum Heart? I would say yes. Um, book of Belial. Ooh, and Book of Shadows. Well, first I'm gonna pick both of them up. And honestly, I prefer Book of Belial. I do want to get this uh, Yum Heart charge. There we go. Okay, Book of Belial is, uh, it's really good. It's really, really good. I think it serves as a, I think a 1.5 damage multiplier plus 2 damage. Not exactly sure on the numbers of that. Uh, pretty much the same thing as a Devil card or death card? I'm still kind of new with this, guys. We're only episode 9. Don't expect me to, like... Don't expect me to know all the numbers, all the facts quite yet. Ooh, Spirit Heart is awesome. Ooh, lots of... This is a fly room. It's a Mirage that's uh, one of the easier rooms on the depths. But honestly, it's uh, actually one of the harder ones. Because you have a lot of stuff to worry about. Ooh, Troll Bomb. Something to worry about. Okay, and we're going against Loki. We're just going to pop Book of Belial. Not sure if we really needed that, but I'd say it's worth it. We're doing uh, crazy damage. I just want some tears. That's about it. Skinny odd mushroom, sad onion. Any really, any tears up really would be awesome. We did blow up that Tinted Rock, which is good news for me. And I think we do have a higher chance to get another angel room. In fact, it's pretty likely, I believe, now that we actually took one and we didn't take a deal with the devil. Um, fallen deals do not count, I believe. So hopefully that uh, kind of pans out. We'll see. It did not on this four at least and gives us a tears upgrade with a hero font. And honestly, that's a uh, shot speed upgrade, but the uh, hero font kind of makes it worth it. It's almost the same effect of a squeezy, but not quite. Okay, let's see if we have our secret room there. We do. Ooh, and we have the one up. I think the rarest spawn in here. Honestly, I would have preferred something like a uh, spider bite, but this is a good um, item to fall back on if need be. And we, and if we do have an arcade or something like that on the floor, we do have the book of shadows if we uh, so choose to go back. And it obviously that is a, a good strategy, but there's a problem with that, and that is that it takes time and. I'm not a fan of doing quite that, so. That is a strong negative. These uh, zombie guys are a lot easier to take out once you can fly, because they don't see you from there. That being said, we are still taking our time on these guys, which is alright, as long as we get the job done. Spirit Heart. I did forget we uh, picked up the miter on a curse room. That's why we're getting all these Spirit Heart. That, that explains a lot. Actually, let's check our items. We have a bunch of good stuff here. That's cool. Uh, shop. Let's go anyways. It's probably greed. It wasn't greed. But we can't pay for that. And I'm not sure if it's even worth it. Because, you know, not many shops left. I think there's just one shop left if we uh, pick that up. So, definitely not worth it. Uh, let's take out this uh, champion. Who is uh, doing a good job of going slightly faster than the uh, standard uh, creep dudes. Ooh, chest gives us... Another chest gives us Spirit Heart and two bombs. Pretty much a tinted rock. I wonder if the uh, chest section keeps going. Really? Really? We got this last run, but we'll take it. Magic Mushroom, all stats upgrade. I would be wrong to say that we have a chance of losing. I wouldn't be wrong. I would, I would just be focusing on the negative. We're pretty much guaranteed to win here. Uh, what, what's something that can go wrong? Mask of Infamy rooms, as always, is about it. Uh, I don't know. What what could really kill us? We have a one-up as well. If we do something like really sneaky with a deal with the devil or something, that could be it. We're not getting any more deal with the devils if I'm correct, so. Nothing can really mess us up. Chest we'll just take because we can. Pill, we don't know what that is yet. 
I'm just going here because I'm so kind of overpowered that it's just it's just comical. I just want to finish these guys off. Obviously the damage upgrade and the polythemus and the meat and all that together. Wonder, did we get small rock this run? We did not. The spectral tears are from Dove, I believe. Well, they're definitely from Dove because I see my uh, flying animation, so that's a thing. Yeah, it's just comical how powerful we are on this run. Uh, let's see what this pill is. Range upgrade. Are we on max range? We are. Or maybe not max, but enough to uh, cover the room. If we can somehow... Not sure how, but if we can somehow become Guppy, I'd be so happy. Just like my flies just destroy the boss by itself. It's like, boop, kamikaze flies are doing their job. And the fly still lives because <laughs> he just touches it and just keeps going along. Just casual. That'd be awesome. Okay, next floor. That was an awesome floor again. Uh, we got Magic Mushroom mainly. We definitely got some other stuff, but I can't remember. Just because... <laughs> It's been overshadowed. We've probably gotten lots of good stuff. Uh, we can actually shoot over these rocks, so may as well be careful. Uh, no real reason for me to pick up that money, really. I'm not going to risk it. Just want to take out that spider. Ooh, but that key could be useful. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a bomb, push it forward, which pushes the items at us. That's a little technique uh, you guys can adopt. Trademarked by nobody, really. But you can say it's by me. It's all right. Okay, champion, boop, boop. One of the only enemies that actually needed uh, two hits. Uh, hopefully we do get small rock, that'd be awesome. Spirit hearts are fine. We have like so many spirit hearts off screen that it doesn't even really matter. Like, I, I wonder, I, I wanna know how many spirit hearts I have. Like we can just stand in the, um, in the mom fight and just like be like, I'm gonna go down to like three hearts, see how that goes. I'm not gonna do it because this is my first Magdalene run. And a pretty good one at that. A really, really good one at that. Even if we weren't done with the game, er, in the beginning of the game where we can't go to the chest or anything like that. Even if we could uh, go to the chest and everything, I think we'd still have an awesome chance. Kind of a testament to how powerful we are. Uh, Curse Room definitely gives us a spirit heart, so awesome. <laughs> I think that that corresponds to uh, half a spirit heart because there's only normal damage in this room. Don't be greed. It's greed. But I, I, I ain't even mad anymore, you know? It's just amazing how powerful we are. Don't even care that I got hit. Don't even care. Just keep hitting me, greed. Don't even care. I do want to say that I wasn't even trying to dodge, but I kind of I was. I just did get hit there. But still, not even mad. Let's see if our secret room's there. Uh, spider bite would be legendary raw liver um, Epic fetus I wouldn't pick up because it kind of takes away our whole uh, tier thing we got going on But that would still be an awesome pickup Theoretically we did already get the uh, one up which I forget we ha which I forgot we had so Yeah, there's no chance. There's just no chance. I feel bad for these mask of infamies usually I'm like oh god mask of infamies so scary now I'm like Ah, they're like puppies, and I, I don't know why I'm hurting these guys, but I uh, will bomb this. Hopefully we get a dollar or something new. I do want to get the dollar at one point. Not sure if you can get it from blowing it up, but you can definitely uh, get it from playing it quite often. Maybe that's the same effect because it does blow up at the end of that. But that's a thing. Uh, what do you have here? Of course. Just make me more overpowered. That's fine. And oh my god, look at us right now. We barely look like Magdalene, just just the hair, which is a tinted green. <laughs> yeah, that's disturbing. We finally get to see the uh, most beautiful character transformation ever. Like, Magdalene before, Magdalene after. That change is uh, all for the better. Uh, Mask of Infamy Rooms. I'm a pop book of Belial. I don't even know why, because I can. I haven't used it enough. Uh, we can actually see our spirit hearts now. I'm, I might want to calm down with the... Uh, no trying thing because I'm just kind of like walking through these rooms. I'm not really trying. I'm not really trying that hard to dodge maybe a bit But I'm not like conscious consciously like being oh my god can't take any damage I'm just kind of drifting through these rooms. I'm gonna I'm a be a bit more cautious because 
A lot of hard rooms can still kinda come to bite me back. It's possible. Like this room kind of messed us up. A uh, liberty cap will take because I love it. I love the mushroom items always. Oh my god, the spikes hurt me. But they did uh, kill the dude. How do we want to do this? We'll trigger that and go in here. Which was a sacrifice room. Unfortunate. Let's just run there. We made it. Now I'm not exactly sure how many uh, rooms a Book of Belial charges. I don't. I haven't really been paying attention, but that is something I should probably find out in case we want to use it for the boss and we want to save it up and stuff. Aw, uh, these hoppers though. Our polythemus shot is so big. Look at that. It's crazy. Okay, um, arcade. We're gonna go in. Just for the lols. We're gonna go down to 20 cents. Not sure exactly what I want from here. Maybe some spirit hearts. We don't need them. Just want to see if we can get them. If we lose this run, it's it's entirely my fault. It just is. Mr. Mega Bombs are awesome. Two keys is all right. We'll load this dude up too. Lots of keys. Uh, let's try this one. Spirit Hearts would be awesome. Eternal Hearts, Normal Hearts, not so much, but you know, it's fine. Oh, we should blow this one up too because we can. Gives us a penny and a troll bomb. I guess it's a bit better than a penny. I get the I get the laughs. Okay, it is a standard mom, not champion, not champion. Look at that damage. Ooh, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Um, a goal. Try not to take too much damage on this uh, room. It's kind of ine inevitable sometimes. Like right there. I'd say that was inevitable. Maybe not really, but I t I took damage, so I say it's inevitable. I'm a pop book of Belial, don't know why I didn't do that. And we are out of spirit hearts, that's actually concerning. We should not have that happen. This is not great, I mean we'll still win, don't get me wrong. But I'm being kind of reckless. Which isn't a good habit to uh, form, cause you know if you're if you're racing somebody you, d you don't want to become like reckless, you just want to wanna win, make it fair. I uh, will take the HP upgrade. And we can't teleport out of here, which is unfortunate, but we will go down, take my sip of water, and down to room one. Or no, the toilet paper. Okay, utero one is fine by me. And we can see by our compass, which I also forgot we had. Lots of items I'm f I, forget I forgot we had, I mean, that powerful. It's looking uh, pretty close. We could go to our curse room, but what's the point? Sacred Heart, I guess, is the point. But I also don't want to lose the um, the heart quite yet. If we, if we do beat Mom's Heart, which I'm expecting we will, uh, we can go back to the Curse Room and do that. Don't want to do it before, though. Just because. Call it foolish, but... Oh, no, we never did pick up the compass. That was the uh, Liberty Cap. Okay. I just assumed we probably pick it, picked it up because we're that powerful. I'm like, okay. We probably picked up uh, every awesome item in the game. Book of Belial. Help us out in this room a bit. Make it a bit faster. And look at that. We're just uh, tearing through these guys. The hollow. At least we know where we're going. About. Because we did see that uh, temporary compass charge. And spider. Hopefully we do get some type of health from this. That would be nice. Lots of types of health. Awesome. Let's keep going over here. And we found our boss room already. Let's take out uh, this uh, jumping dude. Another rolling dudes. The transformation. Uh, we can uh, do this whole spiel. Okay. Oh wait, we're going against double Loki. I just, really, I thought we were uh, going against mom's heart. Okay. I guess I miscounted rooms or something. Whatever. That's all right. Double Loki shouldn't be too annoying, especially since. I would say double Loki is uh, better to fight than the uh, Loki with spikes. I really hate those spikes, dude. They're bad. Ooh, this can be interesting. Let's see what we have. Okay, we have uh, Blood of the Martyr, which gives us even more absurd damage. This isn't even Book of Belial. That's the size of our Book of Belial sh shots from before. Imagine if we just equipped it. My shots would be huge. Yeah, th this damage is ridiculous. Imagine if we got Skinny Odd Mushroom. Imagine. 
That'd be crazy. Ooh, we'll open that. Gives us devil. We'll keep that for the next four. And, okay, flies are all right. Can't be mad about that. Okay, so we're just gonna go down to the next four. I was hoping that, uh, herping? <laughs> I was herping. Um, I was hoping that the uh, curse room would have something awesome like, I don't know, Sacred Heart uh, would be awesome. I don't know what else I'd really want. That's about it. Let's head down. Womb 2, final floor. Let's uh, finish this one off with a bang. Although we don't know where we're going. Hopefully we do get a uh, a uh, compass charge. That room should have been annoying, but that was actually really easy. Glad it was. Look at these shots. Wait, I'm not even going to use this spike. So I'm just going to... Oh, we can do it from a distance. Uh, it's going to be harder than I thought. Okay, we'll do the flying thing. Do it the boring way. It's all right. Luckily, we don't have a XL floor. That would... It wouldn't ruin us. It would just be kind of mildly... Or very annoying. Uh, pill gives us bad gas. Wish we could have brought that into the fight, but that's all right. Take out these uh, jumping dudes. Which turn into rolling dudes, as uh, explained before very thoroughly. Uh, like, I... I'm, I'm trying to listen to myself, and my commentary's probably like, Okay, we're, we're doing a lot of damage. Oh, wait, now we're doing, like, twice the amount of damage. Two minutes later. Oh, yep, uh, that's the uh, most damage we can, uh, theoretically do in the game. We're, we're not even close to that, obviously, but... Yeah. We... Wait, once we take this spider... Look at our character from every angle. That is ridiculous. Lots of stuff on our head. A uh, pill is... Telepills, which we'll keep. What's this one again? The devil... Eh, we're not going to keep it. I lied. Now, as long as I don't have my uh, cards mixed up, Devil is um, equivalent to a Book of Belial. So if we use Book of Belial and Devil, oh, -ho, that's going to be something extremely awesome. Okay, give us something awesome. Two troll bombs, not very awesome. Can't complain. Got to head this way and uh, just kind of claim my run. Shouldn't have taken damage there. Not, not feeling too good about that. Let's finish this dude off. Heart kind of pays us back. Doesn't pay back our dignity though. That's gone. Okay, so we're going to use Devil and Book of Belial. And I think that's about it. One up we're probably not going to use. And let's go in. Okay, awesome. Uh, pop the Devil. Pop the Book of Belial. And oh my god. Those shots. Just those shots. That is crazy. And we actually have Mr. Mega Bombs, which I did forget about up until now. Uh, we will use those in a second. Look at our tears. Just look at them. They're crazy. This is going to be a pretty fast mom heart fight. At least I'm one of the fastest without, like, I don't know, mom's knife, anything like that. Nothing cheap, just, I mean, Polythemus is about as cheap as you get, but that's fine. Ah, there we go. The cross appeared. So now the cross is a viable option, and we will pick up these spirit hearts. Victory lap. That was an awesome run. Let's head into the chest, and let's see what we got. Hopefully an awesome new item. Do -do -do. Oh, it was that. Oh, okay. It took us into the chest. Is that it? Okay. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that ending. That was pretty weird. Um, if you guys did enjoy the episode, please do leave a like below. It immensely helps the series grow. And uh, you can watch this daily, obviously, since it does upload daily. Or you can kind of stockpile them all at once. But thanks for joining me on this run. Really overpowered and stuff. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome. Peace.